Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and Pahamar hanging out on episode 22 of Grand Skies. Pahamar, how you doing, sir? I'm good, how are you? Dude, I had a lot of fun building a crazy upgrade to our mob trap. You want to see it? I would love to. Cool. Well, come on up. So, you might not be able to see it too well, but it should be somewhat visible. I've um, filled in inside the mob trap there a bunch of conveyor belts. I see. I see. So basically mobs still fall down exactly like they did before, but now they are funneled into the center area where they land right above the blood altar. Okie doke. And if I so choose, I can sacrifice them with my sacrificial knife or I can let the mob grinder handle them. So you can see they're, they're still dying from the mob grinder. Um, but if I just flip the lever there, it disables the mob grinder and then I can just kill them. And that puts blood in the blood altar? It does. See? Die, die, die. And then altar fills up. So we've got 1,100, and now we've got 1,600. Cool? Cool. So it still functions like our old mob spawner. It shouldn't really reduce the efficiency hardly at all. The only annoying part is sometimes it's a little derpy the way mobs track in Minecraft, so they don't always fall and get pushed into where they should be, but it's, it's pretty darn good. They eventually get there, and they will get killed, so... How's your uh, cow farm going? Oh, you know what? I had to do one more upgrade, by the way. Okay, you go do that, and I'm gonna, gonna see, if gonna see if I can't top this off. Cool. We're at 98%. Um, I filled in um, some half slabs inside our grinder, our mob spawner thing. Cool. Um, and that allows us now to not get spiders anymore. Oh, and I also upgraded our altar to a tier 3. Nice. Hence nice. the blood runes down here. So it's not the prettiest of all designs, but it it does get the job done, so Oh, I'm so close on this liquid protein. Yeah. Yeah, so people probably have also noticed there's a whole bunch more machines down here too. Oh, were you doing things? I was doing things between the last episode and this one. Ooh, I see there's a bunch of cyclic assemblers going on. And what would be in that, gold, be chest? In that gold chest? Um, oh, a couple compressed cobblestone. Nice, Indeed. so we're ready to hand it in? We are. Would you like to do the honors? I would be honored to do the honors. Where is for the hoarding? Nice. Uh, manual submit. Hooray! I'm going to claim the left bag as a reward. I'm going to take the right, and we get a flux-infused pickaxe. Pickaxe. Nice. I did get a legendary bag, by the way, it appears. You got two bags, Let's actually. clean up my inventory. Yeah, I saw that. We got two bags. One of them's legendary, though, for me. I got a legendary, got as, well. legendary as well. Nice. I got, Who's cleaning up my inventory? I have a nice reward, 0.93% chance. Infernal Princess, Infernal Drone, Oblivion Drone, Oblivion Princess, and three more Oblivion Frames, which I think... Gets us up to six Oblivion frames. Not bad. I got Monster Jerky in one of my chest things, and I got some uh, ME storage import and export bus stuff. So nothing terribly exciting for me. I got, uh, in my second bag, my greater bag, I have a very nice reward, 0.33% chance, and it is a ME 64K storage drive. Nice. We should have enough stuff to create the um, dirt that we need now, don't we? I believe we do. That shouldn't take nearly as long as it would take to craft the other thing. And we might even have... I would. Hope I think I have enough slime for the slime hand in. Nice. While you figure that stuff out and do the crafting, I'm going to disassemble all these uh, activators. So I should uh, explain while I'm... Ah, keybinds. While I'm doing this, how we actually set this up. So what we did, well, what I did was I set up all these uh, these autonomous, uh, sorry, cyclic assemblers. They're not autonomous activators. These cyclic assemblers here, this row, just turned cobble into compressed cobble. This guy did uh, doubly compressed cobble, triple compressed cobble, quadruple, quintuple, sextuple, septuple, octuple. Oh. So it took about it took five about... hours to go through this all because the AE system ran for about a day and only had a single septuple piece. So the yeah. cyclic assemblers was way faster. Nice. 
It it should have been able to do multiple processes at once, but yeah, you're probably right. It's probably faster. I'm turning on the mob grinder, by the way, because um, I need a few more green slime balls to get what I want to get. There we go. So, almost there with the slime quest. Uh, dirt is done. So then, after this, the only hoarding quest we have left is Purple Madness. Which, once you get started on bees, we should have enough ro uh, roses to get going with uh, some red dye. And then we can get blue dye from Lapis, obviously, and we can get all the purple we need. Nice. So I'm waiting on you, Pahimar. I'm cleaning up your stuff. Okay, keep cleaning. Um, what I do want to do is, once we get this guy upgraded to a tier 4 altar, I do want to use the Cursed Earth, like we said, and, and get a whole automation thing going on. It's just that this was the quickest way to take our current mob grinder and turn it into a Blood Magic mob grinder. And it works pretty well, as you guys oh, can see. Oh, Direwolf, I'm happy to tell you that we can hand in liquid meat. <gasps> I know you're excited about that. Go oh for it, buddy. Oh my goodness. goodness. I'm going to take the reward Let's go with the flow, right? Yep. Fluid protein? Mm hmm I got an epic bag. Um, do we want pearl oysters or water hives at all? We got tons of both of those. I'd say go for the bag. I got a yellow heart okay. canister. Oh, nice. Oh, I got an epic bag too. Look at that. I got a very nice reward set. Diamond armor with some enchants on it. Protection and thorns. That's not terrible. Indeed. Oh, I'm so looking forward to disassembling this. <laughs> I know. You literally spent weeks on that, didn't you? Two weeks to finish this in, like, actual time. Nice. Alright, guys. Uh, how about Pahamar and I have a few little bits of grindy things to do? Like, I want to fill up this blood altar a little bit more, and then you want to come back in a minute, buddy? Sounds like a plan. Okay. See you guys in a minute. Alright, Pahamar. I'm back. You ready to check out some cool stuff? I am. All right. I'm about to make uh, some rituals from Blood Magic. Have you checked these out yet? I have not. I have not. All right, they are cool. I'm warning you. How cool are they? Cool. They're very cool. Um, I actually have some ritual stone and a master ritual stone here. Um, so there's there's the long and painful way, and there's the quick and easy way to do rituals. You want to see the long and painful way first? Sure. How painful is okay. it for me? Not painful at all. I I like this idea. Okay, cool. So here's your first ritual that I'm going to show you, like the most basic one. And oh, you know what? I need to get one more thing. I almost forgot. I need a weak activation crystal. I almost forgot. Uh, so I need a lava doohickey. All right, that I can make. Bear with me just a moment. Well, while you're doing that, I'm going to get the MRS sapling thing going again. Yeah. We have lava in the A system, right? Do we ever. Cool. Alright, so we'll get this and this. All right, let's get our stuff. Dum -de -de dum. This is working out really well, by the way. I upgraded the altar a little bit by Mars, so now we get more um, life points per mob killed. Yeah, so I'm and it's working out even different better. Runes for that? Yeah, if you look underneath the altar, you'll see that there's like a bunch of different runes down there. I'm just getting us some leather, now that we no longer need cows. Cool. The runes with arrows on them are the Rune of Sacrifice, and those are the ones that basically boost the amount of essence or life points you get whenever you kill a mob nearby. And it's like an additive bonus of like, I think it's 10% per rune, but it's additive, so like, it Ooh. quickly adds up. Oh, what happened? I right-clicked instead of shift right-clicked. On what? Air. What? Now there seems to be some kind of a slime bouncing around in there. What'd you right click on? 
Oh. Air. Air. With what? The bound pickaxe. Oh, yes. You don't want to right click with the bound pickaxe. Would you like to kill I warned this you, thing? didn't I? Kill this thing? Yes, you did, yes, but you I knew did, I wasn't going to fall. Gonna... Okay. Why did you run away? Why are you not helping me? I'm coming. Looks like a Thomcraft slime, actually. Yeah, I was very surprised yeah, by that. Okay, let me get my gear. Let me get my gear. Okay. And then I'll show you how this thing works. It's pretty cool. I have another head of mine. Oh, nice. A Pahi head? Indeed. Just getting ready to show you the next part of this. But right, just getting here, ready. Just okay, ready. let me make sure that these mobs aren't gonna fall. Okay, what you working on? Uh, I accidentally took out a portion of the wall. Oh, because you right-clicked cl right with the bound pickaxe. Indeed, I forgot to shift. <laughs> Soren did that in his grains, guys, and it, it was fell to very his death. Bad. Yeah, I just exploded. Yeah, you didn't have enough um, life points stored in your soul network to be able to do it. All right, you ready? Ready. Ready. All you have to do is you place down a master ritual stone in the center all the time, and then ritual stones go around the outer edge in some kind of pattern. And actually, this might be the wrong pattern. I think it needs to be in the corners, but we'll find out in a minute. I just have the um, cobblestone here because it helps. The, heck of it. It helps. the cobblestone is not really necessary. Right, I'm pretty sure it's the corners, and then there's five different colors. This ritual requires four blue, and now I'm going to activate it. And ta-da! So I saw particles, but what ritual is this? This is the ritual of the full spring. Oh, so it's an oh, always, so refilling always refilling water block? Water block? Yeah. Is that the one you wanted? Well, that's what I wanted to show you. Ah, because it was safe. Because it was safe. Yeah. Unlike it's what, a I basic one. what I just did. Yeah. What you did was dangerous. Now, what's cool is you see how I had to like manually place all that down? Yep. So you can create this nifty gadget, which is called the Ritual Diviner. And what you can do is you can shift right click and you can cycle through all the rituals available. And then it'll use the items from inventory you automatically and it'll automatically place it down for you. Nice. Yeah, so it's a lot easier because there's a lot of craziness that goes into things. Um, I would like to do a pretty crazy ritual if you're so inclined and ready to go. What ritual would you like to do? Uh, the ritual of binding. And what does that one do? Uh, very cool stuff, as a matter of fact. When you say that, I get a little worried. And rightly so. Okay, so who gets bound? Uh, probably me. To Let's what? see, how's my soul network doing? My soul network's doing all right, actually. I'm just gonna fill her up a little bit. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't mind getting another one of those orbs. I believe it's a gold block that I need. A gold block. Cool. Where should I put my head? Uh, I don't know the answer to that question. So while you're doing that, I'm down here and I'm just... Uh, so what I've done is I've done a bunch of tear down of things we don't need anymore. So okay. uh, I tore down all the pipe work and everything for the cow farm that was giving us the liquid meat. So I drained all the pink slime into our AE system. 
And then okay. I've also yeah, I've been also a bit busy been. setting up for some infrastructure for our forestry related machines. Yeah. I'll come downstairs and have a look. For the bee thing? Uh, bee and uh, a few other things. Yeah. Because I need to make uh, forestry ethanol as well, so. Right. Oh, is that one of the quests you have? Is ethanol? Yeah. That's yeah. one of my few That's remaining ones. Few. Gotcha. All right, I'll come check out what you're building and then we'll check out this ritual. Sounds Does good. That sound cool? Sounds good. All right, let's grab my thing that I made here and I'm going to turn the mob spawner back on so we don't get like stupid amounts of mobs and come to see Pahamar. Careful, there's a block right, missing. Okay. Uh, where? There? Yeah, I'm going to fix it. I don't want you to fall okay. through it. I know, because I have a tendency to do that. So I may have got so, a little oh, overkill wow. on some of these machines. Yeah, you, you don't really need that many centrifuges, but that's okay. Uh, oh, wow. Well. So we got the three of those. Uh, sorry, 16 centrifuges. We have three carpenters. Did you build all this because Soren? No, because me. Oh. New meme. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's got the eight squeezers, and then there's eight stills over here. Dude, we have a ton of mob essence, by the way. Yeah, it's pouring in now. Nice. And we also don't have anything really used in it, so... Well, the mob spawner. Cool. Anyway, yeah, I need anyway, to make yeah, some to make fermenters some because I need to because take need biofuel to ethanol. And that's what the stills are for. Okay. Ethanol. I should actually check how much I need. I'm going to get ready to do the uh, ritual out here if you want. I might just do it in the center of our platform. It should be safe. Oh, just 10,000 barrels. That's not too bad. All right. Um, don't kill me. I'm going to do my best, but if I were you, I would stay outside the circle. So I'm going to call like this the center of master ritual block stone. And then one, two. Watch out because I am mining um, through the floor here a little bit. You watching what I'm doing? Because mm -hmm. there's cool things about to happen. I'm kind of tempted to mine the block under you. Yeah, don't do that. You know, for old time's sake. Yeah. Ritual of binding. Here goes nothing. Dun, 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 dun. That should be it. Okay. So you can see how this little thing comes in handy because some of these rituals are pretty large. Like this is maybe a medium sized ritual. Some of the larger ones are like ridiculous. I am not surprised, not surprised. considering it's a way of time. Yeah, but it's cool. All right, I think I'm good to go with this. I'm good here. I'm good here. No, not that. My head's not part of the ritual? It is not. <sighs> you ready? Ready. Uh, you seem to be struck by lightning. Yeah, it doesn't like me too much. Hey, that looks familiar. Yeah, it should. Ta-da! It's a red blob in your hand. No, it's a you have to device. activate it. Yeah. When, while it's activated, it, it drains um, light Life. points. Life. Yeah. So the deal with this thing, by the way, is when you kill mobs with it, they have a chance to drop a weak blood shard, which is going to be useful for some of the stuff we need coming up very soon. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You like that? Seems pretty good. It is. It's definitely good. All right, so I'm going to kill some mobs with this thing, and then we'll be back. So, Mr. Direwolf, I've started progress on another liquid quest, and it's going rather quickly. Oh, really? Yeah, if you look over here, we've set up an MFR bioreactor for the quest Fueling the Void. Okay. And I remember you telling me in an earlier episode that it was going to require, like, all kinds of different plants and everything... Yeah, this is just being fed saplings. Yes, exactly. It's been running for about two minutes, and we're a quarter done. Oh, well, I meant for, like, if you yeah, want to be yeah, as efficient yeah, as possible. Yeah. So this one's going to be done fairly quickly, and I see you apparently are making a tier 4 um, altar. And you, sir, would be correct. You've let a spider out. 
I did what now? There's a spider out. Where? Upstairs. How? I don't know. You did it. I didn't do it. There shouldn't even be spiders. At least not in the mob spawner. You're a spider. I am not, I don't think. I'm pretty sure I'm not, at least. We've been reduced to just petty insults. I can see that. Let me turn the uh, auto killer back on so that it can clear out that backlog of mobs there. Um, yes, you are correct, sir. I am upgrading our altar once again. I want to get up to a tier all my four. Space under here. I know. Well, once we get to tier four, I can do some really cool stuff, and then I'll probably wind up moving the altar. I did get the blood shard I was looking for, by the way, so I'm happy about that. Fermenters need water, don't they? Fermenters need water. That is correct, sir. How'd you know? Because it has something in the GUI to indicate that. Oh, okay. Can we do something with this tank of mod and stuff, you think? Uh, if you want to, we could always just import it's it just directly into the AE system. Could we do that? If you'd like to. I would love to. Then it's your job. Wow, we don't have enough fluid import buses, do we? How many are in there? Like, a stack and a half. That was from my failed attempt at actually just importing lava directly from every crucible. Ah, I see. Rather difficult to try and get something out while you're actually, um... Oh! Darn you. What? I wanted the space behind these. Did you? Well, I just need it for a minute here, because I want to clear out what we've gotten here, because I have to dig through this area a little bit. Wow, this thing clears out quickly, huh? Yep. Nice. I didn't want to destroy this mob essence, so... But I need to be, like, right here. Uh, let's see. Where's my hammer? I guess I don't have it on me. I used to have a hammer on me. There we go. Better. The faster that liquid moves, by the way, the more energy it uses, and it uses energy really fast. Yep, it does. It does. Like, holy cow fast. So down one, back one. Pretty sure this is the right setup for the ritual, or for the tier four altar. That looks right. And I'll probably swap those out with the Rune of Sacrifice stuff, too, once we get to that point, but... Um, so there's only one more thing I need to do to upgrade this guy to a tier 4 altar. Let's see. I need... I always forget exactly how tall these need to be. One taller than the glowstone. So I think it needs to be not here, but here. Man, you've just hey. mangled this thing. Sorry. Hey, as long as it works. Alright, if I'm correct, this is now a tier 4 altar. Oh, I did something wrong. Alright, now I have to figure out what I did wrong. Those guys are one higher than the glowstone, that's correct. This all looks correct to me. You sure that's not? Yeah, it's still not upgraded to tier 4. Must have done something wrong down here, guys. I'll be back in a minute once I double check my work. This cobblestone can't be an air block. I don't know if we need it as low as it is, but that was pretty much it. That got that got us what we needed. So tier 4 now. Hooray. Uh, cool. More cool. Rune of Sacrifice is going on. Um, 
I might throw a couple more runes of sacrifice in there, but I want to see how much mob essence we get from one kill now. Um, so what I'll do is I'll throw my magician's orb in. There we go. Drain it out nice and good. What people also didn't realize is uh, he had a little help. He had a little help getting this set up. A little bit. Or really just cleaning up your ugly mob essence tank. Sorry. Oh, no, 1700 LP. Sorry. Nice. 1700 LP per kill. That is really nice, actually. What am I missing in the fermenter? You put trees in, you give it water. It's just not it's just, That's really cool. Power? It's got power. It's got RF. It's got yeah. RF. Yeah. Oh, I'm happy to say I have another liquid quest to hand in. Oh, nice. Which one? Fueling the Void. Fueling the Void. That was quick and easy then. Yeah, we can pick yeah. and get two reward bags, or we can have one reward bag and reactor glass. Uh, I defer to you on that one. You looked into big reactors more so than I have so far. Let's see what the recipe is for it. It's, yeah, take the bag. Yeah, reactor glass is easy. It's got a couple ch uh, steps at the chain, but it's not something that we're short on. Okay. I got an reactor egg, glass. And a greater. And a greater. Graphite bar and steel we can get. Yellorium, I'm not sure about. Graphite blocks. Coal and uh, smelt coal to get graphite. That seems pretty easy. Okay. Uh, you're the boss, so reward bag. I got a greater and an epic bag. I got a book with silk touch and another and potion another flask with fire resistance. With fire resistance. I got 64 glass bottles of natural gas. Natural gas? Oh, and I got runes of sacrifice. That's actually pretty good for me. I like that. There's natural gas? Apparently. Oh, by the way, I taught our AE system how to make fluxed ingots, because you need them for the Runes of Sacrifice. My book had Silk Touch on it. Ooh, nice. Would have been useful Would've with been all useful. that mycelium. Yeah. Oh, we're uh, two-thirds of the way done with the dirt, by the way. We only have 36 dirt left to go. I think it's funny we both checked that at the exact same time. Did we? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Just want to get one more rune of sacrifice, because then I can do an even line of it, of seven. Oh, do Clearly, the runes of sacrifice were heavily nerfed in their recipe, by the way, because Jaded is a benevolent soul. I think I know why the fermenters aren't working. Oh. Because you need compost. Oh. What did I do wrong there? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Seven. There we go. So let's see what kind of good stuff we get now per kill. Bingo. That did it. Empty. Tier four. One kill. Gives me, ooh, 2,000. Nice. I will absolutely take that. All right, buddy. You want to come back in a minute here? Sounds good. Okay. Oh, Mr. Palomar, I believe that it's time, unfortunately, to wrap up the episode. I'm sorry to say. But I just got my biomass going. I know. Well, I just got my, you know, crazy blood altar going, tier four, and I get 2,000 life points per kill now, which is 10 times what we got before. Or no, it's four times. It was 500 originally. So what quest are you working on? Or are you just like totally going into the mod? I'm just totally going into the mod. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, it looks like um, one of the quests... I actually think I can hand in a quest. I might actually be able to. Let's see. Um, 
Here at Wizard Steve, I believe that we need larger orbs. Manual submit, and we're good to go. Uh, what one do you want me to pick? Blood Rune or Ritual Stone? Uh, I would say Ritual Stone. I got Mutton Jerky. Nice. I just had to rebind my orb to myself because I handed it in, but that's no problem. How about this? I sickles? get a book with Unbreaking Three on it. Nice. Yeah. Are you far yeah, enough down do to sickles. do sickles? Sigils. Uh, let's see which ones I need. Air and Useful. Green Grove. Green Grove. Green Grove. I know she changed the recipe on. Let's see. Air sigil should be no problem. Green Grove. Yeah, she changed the recipe on the Green Grove significantly. So how about we do that one next episode? Sounds good. But as you can see, there's some kind of binding quest there. I don't know exactly what's involved, but it looks to me like, you know, we're, we're the sword you have. Yeah. So I'm guessing she's asking for all the bound tools, but there's only four of them. And we already have one, so we've got that going for us. Sounds good. So I think we're uh, cruising right along here through the wizard quest. I might actually be pretty close to done with it. But there's some fun stuff in Blood Magic, so I'll probably want to, you know, get it anyway. You know, I'm worried yeah. that we haven't seen a single thing from the end. Yeah, I, I'm guessing that we don't do anything there until we've finished all the other quests, maybe? Possibly. Possibly. You know, the end I mean, of the yeah. map. We still have a little bit more to go, but we're doing really well. For the hoarding, how's our dirt situation? Oh, we're getting there. Uh, we still have 33 more dirt to go, so we'll get that at the beginning of next episode, too. Sound like a plan? Sounds oh, wait, like wait, plan. wait. Hold on. Hold on. We might be able to do slime. Yeah, you can turn off my slime spawner if you want. I think we're good here. Okay. All right, let's do one more quest, and then we'll wrap up. Sounds good. I want to check on this axe of the stream. It might be dead. Oh. Oh, well. That's okay. You'll have to make a new You'll one. You'll have to make a new one. Yay. Um, I don't know what you want to get, but I imagine slime channel are pretty easy to make. I'm guessing that Spawn King Slime is probably what we're going to want to get. That's what I took. Yeah, because these things are very easy to get. Hooray! I'm just going to put it in there. If we ever really want to get a lot of slime stuff going on, we can. Cool? Cool. All right, guys. So I think it's time to wrap up. So we will be back next time. Obviously, uh, getting a lot of quest work done. I think we are doing really well here, Pahimar. We really, I mean, dirt's going to be done next episode, and then we just have to do the purple madness, which, uh, you know, that'll be pretty yeah, quick once we get to the You're going to want a forestry water. farm for that one. Yeah. You need a lot of. I was like thinking about. I'm like, how do we get flowers? Like, how are we going to like really automate getting roses easily? And I'm like, oh, duh. Once you know the forestry farm's going, no problem. Um, honey, you're going to get from your... So you're doing pretty well on your situation, too. Are you starting to get ethanol? Uh, I haven't got that uh, set up. I'm going to rejig the setup down there because I got those stills there. I think I want the stills to export their biomass into the AE system and then have the... So, sorry, the fermenters will export their biomass into the AE system and then the stills will import it from the AE system. Cool. Because it's really easy to do a single import bus into a buffer tank and then just have the liquid ducts do it for you. Right. And then that'll be an easy way to get the ethanol. And then I just need honey and uh, the bee genetic, like the okay. DNA goo. Nice. Sounds good to me. Kind of poking cut. away on the Hell's Kitchen one, too, while we're at it. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. Daryl20, Pahamara, signing off. Way past the wrapping up point because we got distracted by quests. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy. Bye-bye.